So today we're gonna be doing something just a little bit different because I'm not the only one that can create unnecessary inventions. You guys are also submitting them over on the Unnecessary Inventions subreddit. Well, technically I do own the trademark to the name Unnecessary Inventions. So we'll just say you guys are making some useless creations, even though unnecessary doesn't mean useless. You get what I'm saying. And if you didn't know I had an Unnecessary invention subreddit, we've got 347,000 members in there. And I think I even started it before this YouTube channel. So I post all of my inventions there. People submit inventions they found on the internet. They send submissions for new ideas that they wanna see me build. But you guys are also submitting the inventions that you created into the subreddit. So today, I'm gonna check out those inventions and tell you what I think. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and sort the inventions by user inventions. So those are all the inventions that are just submitted by you guys. Okay, so the first one here is called the Robot Will Smith. I kind of have a feeling where this one's going. What did you say about my wife? G.I. Jane 2. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> okay, I will, I will. <laughs> I wonder if that invention only works when he says that or if it works if you say a whole bunch of different things. But it definitely did not look like it was fun to get hit in the face. Wait, what's his, let's see, what's his name? Approved Trash 56. I approve of the invention. Let's see him get hit a couple more times. Okay, this next one is looking like a peak unnecessary invention for me. The fishing rod koozie, because we are just as happy catching a buzz as we are catching a fish. I don't fish, but hey, sure, I'll believe it. Why wouldn't you like a nice cold one while you're catching a big ol' hog? Do they call fish hogs? I have a friend that fishes. I think he calls them hogs. All right, let's watch it. Oh, finally. <laughs> okay, so I didn't think of it the first time I saw the invention, but if you're throwing your fishing rod back and forth, your beater is gonna go everywhere. Peak, peak unnecessary invention humor right there. I'd use it. So if I'm gonna go fishing, send me the STL files and I'll print one of those out. Okay, the next one is making me a little bit scared. It says, warning, almost not safe for work. So am I gonna get demonetized here? Auto Coke can shaker. Looks like it's made out of Lego. I've never known how people do that. Are there like kits where there's like Lego electronics that you can make Lego kits with the electronics? Cause I feel like I'd want to try that out. All right, let's watch it. I was working in Google today and got bored when I had a couple of hours free. <laughs> so I thought I'd shake my- Okay, so far usability, we're getting like a two out of 11. I thought I'd shake my coke and see if I could excite things. Let's try a different position. Okay, he just had to get that angle. This is where it becomes not safe for work. Or stubby ones too. Just needs a little hand to help it reach. Unfortunately, it's not compatible with anyone with micro cokes. You can see I was taking full advantage of Google's free stacks. So I would say, A, it is automatic. It is automatically shaking the can, but I don't think you can say it's shaking a can. Almost, almost there. Concept, Con concept is definitely there. Execution needs a little bit of work. So I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. Kerf, kerf, kerfuffle, kerfuffled platypus. Kerfuffled platypus. It got a lot of upvotes, so who cares? If you got internet points, what else do you really need? What did the comments say? Add a little silicone, you can make some money. Well, you know, all of the inventions I've done in the past that were like somewhat phallic and had something to do with dicks are always the ones that do really, really well. Like the glizzy gripper, the cob quickie, absolutely knocked it out of the park. So you're onto something here. I made a robot that whips you with a belt. What is up with my followers and wanting to hurt themselves. I don't condone violence. I, I do not condone violence upon yourself, upon anyone else, but let's, let's see what he does. <laughs> he looks so happy. Why is he so happy that he's gonna get whipped by a belt? Ooh, the sound. The anticipation is, oh, that's too much. <laughs> I love how proud of himself he is. He's like, yep, I got whipped by a belt, but I got whipped by a belt by a machine that I built by myself. You gotta be proud of your own creations. If you're not proud of it, no matter what the outcome is, why build it? There's some deep-rooted trauma here somewhere. Yeah, the first comment, this kid's missing his dad so much. 
Do you do anything else with a bell? Whipping? I mean, that that sound. I guess you can make a thing that makes that sound. Just, just, just this guy's look on his face. Again, he looks so proud that it looks like he's in pain. What is this one? You Redditors seem to have enjoyed my previous invention, so here's another. The robot reads my facial expressions and punches me every time I stop smiling. I call it the anti-depression machine. I mean, if therapy doesn't work, I guess just forcing yourself through pain to be happy. That's not, that's not what I do. That's not what I'm doing. I'm happy. No, I promise I'm happy. All right, let's see how happy this guy is as he gets hurt. <laughs> All right, smile. Oh, he's almost there. He's om <laughs> How much of a smile does he have to do? <laughs> oh. I guess that's enough. I've never, I've never done anything with facial recognition. All right, what is actually, oh, it's a punching, it's a punching bag on his, is that what it is? A punching bag on the hand? <laughs> I love, I love over here, how absolutely buck wild the little piston it's going. <laughs> that was good. Oh, but pain, pain, what's up with pain? Let's not hurt each other. But for the sake of entertainment, let's keep doing it. Is this the same guy? I think this is the same guy. It said Redditor seemed to like my last invention, so maybe this was the one he originally posted and you guys liked it, so then he posted the second one. As an introvert, I always struggle with people invading my personal space, so I built a lawnmower hat to whip every time someone gets too close to my face. He's really trying to protect that face, smiling, making sure no one gets close to it. Let's see how this thing works. Oh my God, that looks deadly. I can't really see the wire. Like how he has to hold it on his head or else it looks like it's gonna helicopter right away. <laughs> oh, it's spinning. Oh! <laughs> look, at, look at it shaking on his head. Wait. Okay, that thing looks... <laughs> Well, I don't know about it, if it's getting too close. I mean, it just seems to be going around and around. I don't see anyone getting too close to him. Mm, yeah. So it's, it's just doing its thing. <laughs> you get that last facial expression. He is not sure. This is one that I feel like I have had people send me for invention ideas for Crocs. Were snow plows. I'm up in Vermont. It's nice and cold. Let's check this one out. Boys, listen up. Crocs, that's the best thing out there for your feet. They're good for running. They're good for swimming. Oh my God. That, that's a, that's lies. They're not good for running. Don't don't lie. I never I my inventions, hundred percent truth. Never lie. All right, so they snap right onto the front of your Crocs. Somehow there's some snow right there in the middle, and you gotta do a little a little shuffle slide. I could get down with it. I feel like you should add like roller blades. I mean, you look good shuffling. But I feel like if you had rollerblades on and you were just like glide, except then it's winter. I feel like rollerblades and winter don't mix very well. So you just gotta do the shimmy shuffle. But the holes, oh no, I didn't even think of the holes. What about if snow gets into the holes? Now your socks are all wet. So maybe like a dome on the front to protect yourself. Not bad, pretty good. I'd use them. I did just buy a house actually, so maybe I'm gonna have to start cleaning up my driveway with my croc snow plow, my snow plow crocs. More pain, why? A robot that hates finger tapping. I can already tell that this one's gonna be more pain. Why do you guys like hurting yourself so much? Let's see how much pain this one causes. Every time I go to tap, I get told to stop tapping and it clamps down my fingers, you know? Very simple. No, just no. Okay, it's a gentle, it's not full pain, it's like a, Hey, by the way, bud, maybe you should just cut this out. Instead of like a karate chop, cut it out. You're annoying. Oh, thanks. Now tapping becomes a thing of the past with the lovely little anti-tapper. Hey buddy, why don't we why don't we cut it out, okay? That's that sounds like a good idea. I built an auto nerf gun that shoots me in the face. Pain. Pain. <laughs> I'm gonna have to the, the whole theme of this video is pain. You guys are so smart. And yet, all all you want to do is hurt yourself. No, no more pain. Load it in the car. Oh. 
<laughs> Alright, yeah, so it looks like it is tracking his face. I wonder how long... Oh, so maybe if that... if the bullseye... No, it's just going. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that smart. I wish I was this smart. I mean, I'm sure I could learn how to do everything I've done so far. I've taught myself. I just haven't taken the time to learn programs like that. I wonder what it does. Basically, if it just finds... Oh, so, oh I got it, got it, got it. So if you see there, it found his face and then it shot. So when, then when he's covering his face and then it finds it, turns it red and fires the nerf right into his face. Maybe it's like a home protection device. So like you put it in your fridge and maybe, can you, I wonder if you can have it detect different faces. So then like you open the fridge and if it's not you opening the fridge, then it shoots the Nerf gun off. That could be a good implementation of this technology into some other technology. I love technology. The ghost clip. If James Bond told ghost stories, he'd have one. Why does James Bond, what's? Dun dun, dun the ghost clip. Wholesome. It's, it's story time. time. <laughs> I love it. Perfect, unnecessary invention. It does one thing, it does one thing well, and it makes you look like a creep in the dark. I guess if you're telling a ghost story, you want to look like a creep. Love the undertones. Really love highlighting my undertones. Someone reported it as spam. Why would that be spam? It's an unnecessary invention. A plus in my book. I would like to humbly present to you all the Disco Ball Squatty Potty so you can go comfortably and in style. Side note, Squatty Potties. I bought a fancy ass Squatty Potty from them. It wasn't like the surgical medical grade looking one. Fantastic poops. That's all I gotta say. It's just the way nature intended it to poop with your knees a little bit higher up. All you have to do is spend $100 and you too can poop like the Neanderthals. All right, let's see this disco ball squatty potty. As I said, I just bought a house and I'm redoing one of the bathrooms myself, hopefully, good Lord willing. Disco ball squatty potty. It would fit the vibe perfectly. It's sort of the bathroom off the party room, so disco ball squatty potty. All you would have to do is underlight it with that ghost clip. Boom, party in the bathroom. They're having fun, they're having a blast. You might miss the toilet a little bit if you're just trying to aim with a squatty potty disco ball. Well, I guess if you're sitting, it's kind of hard to miss while you're sitting. I'm sure it's been done though. And then a Furby. And then at the very end, she turns into a Furby. Honestly, thought this was an ad at first. I love when people are scrolling past my inventions and they think it's actually an ad and they just get so raged. I don't know why people are so angry on the internet. And they're like, why would anyone want to purchase this product ever? And then like 20 people then comment like, bruh, look at his name. Modern problems equal modern solutions. I think I already know where this one's going. Classic problem. I've actually tackled it myself. When modern problems- Take the top off. Perfect. Require- Can't get your hand in modern solutions. The Pringle elevator. Down with it. Simple. See, I feel like a lot of people get too caught up in making this like, even I did when I did it. I made like a vacuum hose and you put the vacuum hose on the thing and then you put it down there and you sucked it up. Quick little elevator, but do you have to take all the, I guess it's not that hard, take all the chips out, put in the elevator, put the chips back in and then pull it up. Super simple. Chef's kiss on the Pringles invention. The Pringle elevator. The Pring Pringle? Does Pringle end in an E? Pringle. Pringle, ele Pr Pringle elevator. One word. Just one solid word. I, I trademarked it. I'm throwing the TM after that. That's my idea. I made an automated beer pong game moving the cups under the table with magnets. Magnets are fantastic. How do they work? I don't know. But let's see how this works. I'm already loving it so far. We got some coding going on. <laughs> Different difficulty levels. You can't just have one difficulty. What if you're playing a frat bro and he's just gonna annihilate you in beer pong? I probably haven't played in 10 years. So I'm gonna need difficulty one. So it goes underneath the table. Magnets. Gotta love magnets. That, that's cool. I could get down with that. 
because beer pong gets boring. Is that a game people still play? If they do, it should be the automated beer pong game with magnets by Cross-Eyed cross Corgi. Now there's an image, Cross-Eyed Corgi. Love it, simple. Difficulty levels. Difficulty levels is where you really got me. That's like a, hand, would that be like a handicap? So like someone plays on a difficulty one and someone plays on a difficulty 10? Or maybe as the game goes on, you make it more difficult. So many options, love it. Wholesome. After all the pain, we needed a little bit of wholesome to end this out. So, if you are not subscribed to the Unnecessary Inventions subreddit, be sure to go check that out and submit your inventions over there and maybe I will react to them over on this channel. But with that, I'm gonna go and tell myself I love myself and not cause any more pain. And go check out, I got some stuff going on the 3D printers too. So I'm gonna go check those out and I'll see you at the next Unnecessary Invention. See ya.